You know what I was definitely not expecting to wake up to this morning? The news that SnowRunner was going to be coming to Steam on May 18th, which is huge and not something that any of us expected. But to be fair, I am super excited to not only share that with you guys, but to go ahead and discuss a lot of my opinions about it, as well as a lot of the things that I'm hoping we see come out of it. Now, we are out on the TNB Trails map today. We're going to be in Yeah Buddy's Ultimate F-150, and we're going to go ahead and fire it up and hit some trails. Now, so, Steam. Now, Steam takes me back to Mud Runner, takes me back to Spin Tires, takes me back to all of those games back in the day. Now, one of the interesting things, or at least the first thing that comes to mind for me when I hear SnowRunner going to Steam is, all right, what is going to be happening to the mod situation? Because remember, mods have been on mod.io for this game for a long time, and it would be a big deal to see that entire modding ecosystem switch back over to Steam Workshop. Now, I know there are a lot of people that would really like to see that happen, but at the same time, I don't know if it would because they've had this partnership with Mod.io for so long. However, crazier things have happened, so we, we don't know, we have no idea what's gonna happen to that mod ecosystem in the future. The next thing is multiplayer stability. Now, you guys have seen many, many, many times on my live streams where my multiplayer stability in this game has not been the greatest simply because of the fact that it, whoa, simply because of the fact that the way the epic system works is it's not bad, it just doesn't always do the best job of making sure that everyone is fully updated to the same version of the back end and then when that happens you get into issues with not being able to play multiplayer with all of your friends like you can play with some people but not other people and some people have had a completely flawless multiplayer experience with the epic version of SnowRunner whereas other people myself included have had a little bit of a rocky experience with multiplayer stability so that's going to be a big deal when it goes back to Steam on the 18th. Now one of the other things besides, you know, besides modding and besides multiplayer is the fact that there are a lot of people out there in the community that even from the beginning of SnowRunner's release, like from literally the announcement date, like when people found out it was going to be on Epic, there were a lot of people that were like, well, I'm just not going to buy it until it comes on uh, or until it comes to Steam. And if it doesn't come to Steam, I'm not going to buy the game. So I'm sure that those people out there have been, you know, greatly rejoicing to hear of the Steam announcement. But at the end of the day, I would love to know if you, in the comment section below, let me know in the comments down below, if you were one of the people that decided to pass up SnowRunner's initial release because it was releasing on Epic. Now, I know that that is kind of a PC player-centric issue, and it's not really something that console players will have had to deal with because console players really just, you know, you buy the game on Xbox or you buy the game on PlayStation. But at the end of the day, you know, on PC, it's one of those things where usually on PC, PC players are usually used to just, buy, you know, buying a game on Steam. Now, granted, there are some exceptions to that in terms of different exclusive games and different games within the space, and there are certain platforms that require you to, uh, to not use Steam, but even certain games that require you to use another platform as a launcher are still available within Steam to be able to, basically, to be able to be purchased and launched from within Steam, and then they load into a separate launcher, like, for example, The Crew and The Crew 2, because those were available, they just took you to an external launcher. Now, at least if I'm getting my if I'm getting my history correct on that one, I believe I'm getting my history correct on that one. Although I might be wrong, but I'm sure if I am, somebody in the comment section down below will correct me on that one. Now, with that being said, back to the modding situation. If the modding system stays on mod.io, I would hope that they're able to do some kind of integration strategy, right? Because if they can integrate mod.io with the Steam version of SnowRunner, I mean, I feel like they would be able to, no problem. Because really, at the end of the day, it's all just linking an account, right? You know, it's all just setting up your mod.io account and then linking that email to your instance of the game. The only thing with that is that I wonder if that might end up facing pushback from Steam players that buy the game on Steam and then are like, well, where is my Steam Workshop? 
because I feel like a lot of Steam players are really, really dedicated to that Steam ecosystem, and they see, for example, you know, they see a game come out on Steam, and I think a lot of them will just internally expect that if the game itself is going to be on Steam, that, that it's going to have a Steam Workshop dynamic and a Steam Workshop component with it. Now, if you have been playing SnowRunner on Epic, you know, for the past basically year now, for the past year, ever since its release, let me know if you plan on making the jump to the Steam version, or if you plan on sticking with the Epic version. Because what I anticipate happening is I anticipate the people that have had Epic ever since, you know, before SnowRunner came out, and SnowRunner released on Epic, and they were like, oh, cool, just another game to add to my collection. I anticipate that those people will probably stay with the Epic version, whereas the people that got Epic specifically for the only reason of being able to play SnowRunner, those people, I feel like, have a higher chance of going over to the Steam version when it releases. Now, something else I'm curious about is, if we already own the Epic version, does that mean we'll have to re-buy the game on Steam? Probably so, I would expect, because it's a different platform. But at the end of the day, I don't have any confirmation on that, so I'm not completely 100% sure. But at the same time, I feel like there are some people that, you know, no matter how much they spent on the Epic version, they like Steam so much that they're going to be willing to spend whatever it might cost to get the Steam version as well. So I think that that's another dynamic that we're going to end up seeing is there are going to be people that are just going to be like, I don't care how much the Steam version costs, take my money, I'm going to Steam. And I feel like that's definitely not, you know, going to be a uncommon scenario because at the end of the day, I'm sure that I'm not the only person out there on PC that has had multiplayer stability issues with the Epic version of SnowRunner. Now, I don't have I don't have anything against the Epic Store. I don't have anything against the Epic Launcher or the Epic Client or anything like that. I think it runs pretty well most of the time. I just don't think it manages its updates very well. I don't think it it rolls out its updates very well. And that's just an issue that I've had with it consistently over time. And once again, I want this to be a discussion down in the comment section below. And I will, of course, chime in a lot to see what experiences y'all have had and how they relate to my personal experiences with using Epic over the course of this past year for SnowRunner. Let's see if I can... Oh, this is a little bit of a tricky obstacle. Let's see if we can bump our way up it. Oh, no! I'm gonna back it up. Yeah, I'm gonna back it up. Come on. I'm gonna see if I can go up to the left. Bumper gets caught. No. Come on. Oh, man. I was so close to being able to send that in high. Dude. This is a really tricky spot on the trail. Like, I genuinely feel... Like, he spent extra time on this spot making it extra difficult. Or he just set it up for a different type of vehicle. And there's really only one thing to winch to. No! No! Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Dude, I stayed committed. I stayed committed and it didn't fully turn out. Like, legit, I stayed committed, but it didn't fully turn out. Come on. Yo, where was that going? Where were you trying to pull me? Dude, I am so close. That was almost it. Oh, no. Yep, there goes that. God, I'm, like, determined now. I do not. I do not want to back out of this obstacle until I get this. I wonder. I have a theory. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there it is! That worked! That worked! We had to get that right angle, but once we had that angle and we had that line, we were golden and we were good to go! So I know we kind of got off topic for a little bit there, but I was very focused on getting up that obstacle. But back to our discussion prior. Really, my main concluding point is, really, if, if, they, can, if they can fix the multiplayer stability issues by really just creating the Steam version, that is going to be huge, and that would be enough for me to switch, right there. That would be enough for me to switch. My other thing is, if they were to migrate to Steam Workshop for mods, holy cow, I think that would, that would create such a massive, like, shift 
in the community. I don't think it will happen because they really do have such a uh, like a deep long-term relationship with mod.io at this point. But once again, it would be such a like monstrous move for the game and it'd be a monstrous change, but I think it also would be a change that a lot of people would be about. So who knows where we'll go from here, but let me know your thoughts and opinions in that comment section down below. I will of course be down there to chat with you guys about any and all of your feelings about SnowRunner coming to Steam. And with all of that being said, hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.